friends welcome back to question and answer session part 1 of 21st week from 18th may to 24th may we are going to discuss 28 questions in this part the first question of this part is name the country which is accused of supporting rebels in eastern part of ukraine last year through the referendum russia annexed crimea which the western world is not recognizing and there are allegations that russia is supporting rebels in eastern part of ukraine right so the answer here is russia let us look at the second question name the state government which decided to file an appeal against hashimpura verdict in delhi high court this hashimpura massacre we have discussed in the previous classes the incident occurred in the year 1987 on may 22nd in hashimpura locality in meerat city in western uttar pradesh and there 42 persons of one particular religion were taken away by psc psc means the provincial armed constabulary and subsequently their dead bodies were found in the nearby hindon river and recently sessions court in delhi acquitted all the 16 persons of provincial armed constabulary and now the uttar pradesh government decided to file an appeal against the hashimpura verdict in delhi high court sessions court acquitted all the 16 provincial armed constabulary and now uttar pradesh government decided to file an appeal against this hashimpura verdict in delhi high court the answer here is uttar pradesh please look into the next one in farkunda case 11 policemen were sentenced to one year in prison for negligence of duty in farkunda case this case occurred in kabul in front of several policemen in front of several citizens she was burnt alive with allegations that she burned the copies of quran and this incident occurred in kabul in front of several citizens as well as police and recently 11 policemen were sentenced to one year in prison for negligence of duty this incident created uproar across the world and now the court in afghanistan sentenced 11 policemen to one year in prison the answer here is afghanistan please look into the next one name the bank which launched online facility for war draft against their own fixed deposits all of you are well aware against your own fixed deposits you can take a loan up to 90% against your own fixed deposits you can take a loan up to 90% now state bank of india gave facility that you can take overdraft facility that means you can access funds of the bank against your fixed deposit through online banking facility previously the facility was against your fixed deposit you have to go to bank and you have to apply for a loan but now state bank of india gave a facility against your fixed deposits you can access the bank's funds up to certain limit that is overdraft facility and this is available online the bank here is state bank of india look into the next question reliance industries has raised 200 million dollars through the issue of formosa bonds in taiwan making it the first company from india to issue such bonds i would like to explain a bit about various types of bonds these uh, formosa bonds are the bonds issued in taiwan in other currencies these formosa bonds are the bonds issued in taiwan in the currencies other than taiwan dollar the currency of taiwan is new taiwan dollar other than new taiwan dollar if the bonds are issued in taiwan they are called formosa bonds in this context there are several names for various currency denominations as far as bonds are concerned i would like to tell you rupee denominated bonds are called masala bonds rupee denominated bonds 
or masala bonds renminbi denominated bonds are dim sum bonds n denominated bonds are samurai bonds please don't forget masala bonds are rupee denomination bonds renminbi denominated bonds are dim sum bonds samurai bonds are n denominated bonds normally bonds are issued in various currencies to reduce the risk of currency fluctuations to reduce the risk of currency fluctuations i will tell you one example if rupee denominated bonds are issued abroad that means the risk of currency fluctuation is eliminated that means the risk will be borne by the investor not the company the advantage of issuing these type of bonds is to avoid the currency fluctuations friends look into the next one name the country which celebrated war heroes remembrance day on 19th may civil war in sri lanka ended on 19th may 2009 every year on 19th may the country celebrates it as the war heroes day and this year the country celebrated it as war heroes remembrance day so the civil war in sri lanka ended in the year 2009 on may 19th to commemorate that every year sri lanka celebrates the war heroes remembrance day or war heroes day look into the next question as per the draft guidelines is you minimum gold deposit is 30 grams for gold monetization scheme and interest is free from income tax as well as capital gains tax as per the draft guidelines issued the minimum gold deposit is 30 grams these guidelines are issued and they are still in draft stage there may be some changes gold monetization scheme was announced in this year's budget to bring gold from the houses into the mainstream basically to reduce gold imports the main purpose of gold monetization scheme is to bring back gold from the households and after that jewelers can use this gold instead of importing the gold that means to unlock the potential of the gold held by households in the country so as to reduce imports the other salient features of this gold monetization scheme we have already discussed in the lecture part Let us move on to the next question. Name the country which cancelled the visit of United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki Moon just one day in advance. The country is North Korea. The name for North Korea is Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The name for South Korea is the Republic of Korea. South Korea is capitalistic country. North Korea is a closed economy. Very little is known to the outside world. about north korea and under these circumstances recently there were news that the defense minister was also killed inside north korea and secretary general of united nations ban ki moon his visit was cancelled just one day in advance and please don't forget ban ki moon is from south korea there are hostilities between north korea as well as south korea and the cancellation of visit of united nations secretary general to north korea assumed significance as the defense minister is said to be executed recently the answer here is north korea or people's democratic republic of korea please look into the next question name the two countries which reached a deal to offer temporary shelter to 7000 migrants struck up in andaman sea Last week we have discussed humanitarian crisis in Andaman Sea because several Rohingyas and poor Bangladeshis are migrating to Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia and several thousands of people struck up in boats in Andaman Sea and recently Malaysia and Indonesia shown humanitarian gesture to take back those Rohingyas and poor Bangladeshis migrating to Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia. Please don't forget several graves were also found in malaysia bordering thailand it shows 
a greater humanitarian crisis that means uh, human trafficking is taking place uh, especially rohingyas uh, from myanmar towards the uh, southeast asian nations uh, because of the problems uh, faced by rohingyas uh, in myanmar rohingyas are not being recognized as citizens of uh, myanmar right friends look into the next one mechanism in the airbags of almost 34 million cars are defective and it may become one of the largest recalls in the automotive history the airbags manufactured by takata corporation of japan takata corporation belongs to japan and they manufactured airbags and these airbags are used by most of the car companies and these companies are recalling their cars because of faulty airbags and it may become one of the largest automobile recalls in the world right takata corporation belongs to japan and these airbags are manufactured by takata corporation please look into the next one amnesty international Amnesty International says that the country failed to improve the living conditions of approximately 1.5 million migrant workers who migrated in view of the massive construction of 2022 FIFA World Cup this famous world cup in football FIFA World Cup is going to be hosted by Qatar in the year 2022 this is for the first time a middle east country is hosting fifa world cup and in view of this massive construction is going on in qatar and several people migrated to qatar in search of work as a lot of construction activity is going on and there are allegations that migrant workers are not being taken care of properly and human rights are being violated of these migrant workers amnesty international expressed its concern and recently it stated that there is not much improvement in the conditions of these migrant workers almost 1.5 million migrant workers from poor countries migrated to qatar and their conditions are not improved as stated by amnesty international the answer here is qatar qatar is hosting 2022 fifa world cup please look into the next one serious mudslide occurred towards the northwestern parts of country killing at least 78 people this is the northwestern part of colombia because of heavy rains mudslide took place and 78 people lost their lives the answer here is colombia this is a south american country let's look into the next one a state of emergency was declared after two oil slicks occurred due to the ruptured onshore pipeline near santa barbara oil slick in sea is dangerous as the marine creatures will be affected oil slick in seas or oceans is dangerous recently two oil slicks occurred due to the rupture of onshore pipeline near santa barbara this santa barbara is situated in california state of united states of america environmentalists expressed a serious concern because of these two oil slicks next question name the online payment service provider which was imposed a fine of 25 million on accusations of deceiving the customers paypal this belongs to united states of america recently without the knowledge of the customers without the knowledge of the customers they created paypal credit and the online service provider was imposed a fine of 25 million dollars on accusation of on accusations of deceiving the customers please look into the next question name the country where the strike by which bombs try drivers strike by train drivers affected the railway system in germany it badly affected the railway system 
recently there was a strike by train drivers and the answer here is germany please look into the next one uttar pradesh government announced a compensation of rupees of 5 lakhs to each of the victims of hashimpura and maliana communal right victims in 1987 hashimpura massacre we have already discussed 42 persons of one particular religion were taken away by psc provincial armed constabulary and subsequently their dead bodies were found in hindon river and one day later on 23rd may 1987 73 people were died in communal clashes and recently uttar pradesh government announced a compensation of rupees 5 lakh each to the hashimpura as well as Maliana massacre victims. So these places are in Meerut. Meerut is in western Uttar Pradesh. Please don't forget. And the relatives of the victims met the Uttar Pradesh government and asked for making the Gyan Prakash Committee report public, and also asked for making the Gyan Prakash Committee report public, which went into the circumstances under which. these two incidences took place please look into the next one npci national payments corporation of india received reserve bank of india's approval for tie up with the card network union pay npci developed rupee cards please don't forget the rupee cards are being given on massive scale for pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana account holders and NPC recently received RBI's approval for tie up with the Union Pay. Union Pay is the digital card network of China. Visa and Mastercard, United States of America, Rupee Card, India, similarly Union Pay, China. Please don't forget recently NPC recently NPC obtained RBI's approval for having tie up with Union Pay. so that our cards will be used in china and their cards can be used in india right friends look into the next one btia is the agreement which is held up between india and european union since 2007 btia is the broad based trade and investment agreement btia is the broad based trade and investment agreement This was held up because of various reasons since 2007 recently ambassador of European Union visited India and he stated that he will expedite the conclusion of this broad based trade and investment agreement between India and European Union European Union please don't forget it is the block of 28 countries please look into the next one Sukhoi 30 fighter aircraft these accidents became very common this sukhoi 30 fighter aircraft crashed recently in assam this is the sixth crash since the induction in 1997 these were inducted in the year 1997 these sukhoi 30 fighter aircraft series are manufactured in russia so these are the fighter aircraft from russia and failure of these aircrafts became a cause of concern for indian defense forces look into the next one name the person who got whitley award for conservation of great indian bustard in the thar region recently what is the wfn wfn is the whitley fund for nature it is a united kingdom based agency for conservation of nature wfn is the whitley fund for nature for conservation of nature uk based agency and uh, it gives awards every year and uh, these awards are uh, prestigious awards uh, for conservation of nature and for conserving great indian bustard in thar region recently pramod patil got award pramod patil got award and the award is 35000 pounds please look into the next one saksham is the Rajiv Gandhi scheme for empowerment of adolescent boys 
these schemes were started by the previous UPA government and now the budget allotment for these schemes reduced drastically but you should not forget the name of the schemes that's why i included this question sakshan is the rajiv gandhi scheme for empowerment of adolescent boys whereas sabla is the scheme for empowerment of adolescent girls sakshan is for adolescent boys for empowerment of adolescent boys and sabla is for empowerment of adolescent girls i am not discussing in detail because this government may not give much importance for continuation of these schemes in future as the new government is coming up with several programs please look into the next one harbhajan singh has been included in the indian team for one off test in bangladesh india is going to visit bangladesh they are going to play one test and harbhajan singh is included after a gap of 2 uh, years and he played his last test uh, against australia in hyderabad in march 2013 now he is included after a gap of 2 years and his previous test was uh, against australia in hyderabad next one oecd has got 34 member states this oecd the origin of this oecd is organization for european economic cooperation organization for european economic cooperation oeec basically with the purpose of reconstruction of uh, europe which was uh, devastated in the second world war and uh, subsequently it was uh, renamed as uh, oecd with the uh, 20 member countries initially in the year 1961 and at present they it has 34 members and at present it has 34 members oecd headquarters in paris france please don't forget look into the next one name the state where a batch of maggi noodles were proposed to be recalled by the state authorities state authorities of uttar pradesh recently ordered the recall of maggi noodles due to the excess quantities of lead and this maggi noodles is the product of nestle right the answer here is uttar pradesh look into the next one predatory pricing is the issue which needs some regulation in airline sector what is predatory pricing predatory pricing is reducing prices to such a low level to attract customers that means they will offer fares at 1 rupee 500 rupees 1000 rupees so as to attract customers but subsequently they will exploit the situation that is uh, predatory pricing predatory pricing is quite common in airline sector sometimes they offer seats for 500 rupees 1000 rupees but if you want to catch a flight in emergencies they will charge exorbitantly high prices of 30000 40000 so predatory pricing is the biggest issue in airline sector government is planning to issue some regulatory guidelines on this contemplating to issue regulatory guidelines look into the next one name the committee which gave its report on the implementation of national optic fiber network this national optic fiber network with a view to connect 2 and 1/2 lakh villages in the country with the broadband network is not taking off on expected lines the target to complete 50000 villages by march 2015 could not be met approximately 20000 villages were connected by march 2015 the target was 50000 villages now a committee was constituted and they gave their report uh, that is the national optic fiber network to implement national optic fiber network the committee which gave report is uh, j sachinarayana committee report they recommended the renaming of the project as bharat net they recommended renaming of the project as bharat net right friends government is at to deliberate on the recommendations and the project is going on at a slow pace right friends 
Name the state where Gujars are resorting to agitation for 5% reservation in jobs. They are asking 5% reservation. The state is the Rajasthan. Recently, they blocked Agra, Jaipur, Highway. In Dausa district, they also blocked state highway in Savai Madhapur district and they also blocked railway line between Delhi and Mumbai. They want 5% reservation. The state concerned here is Rajasthan. Right? Please look into the next one. Name the country which went to the polls to elect its president on 24th May. The country which went to the polls to elect the president is Poland. And the president has got uh, limited powers in Poland. And with this, we are going to conclude this uh, part one of this uh, question and answer session. Please do join for part two. Have a nice day. Thank you.